Let me start with the basic problem we're trying to solve. Over on this side, we have an individual customer record called Mike J. Green. And over on this side, we have a separate record from a corporate system which says Michael Green is associated with ABC Incorporated. If you can't understand whether these two Mike Greens are in fact the same person or not, how can you make an accurate decision about your customers? Record to Record Matching attempts to solve this problem by comparing these two records directly against one another. The challenge that you have here is that over on the left, we have a Mike, and on the right, we have a Michael, so it's similar. On the left, we have a green, and on the right, we have a green with an E, so again, it's similar but there's no other information bringing these two records together. So at this point, I as a human can't tell you whether these two records are talking about the same person, and neither can a record-to-record -record matching system because it just doesn't have enough information to go on. So how is entity resolution different? So rather than record-to-record -record matching, which is just comparing records one against another, entity resolution performs iterative matching, leveraging the full set of data across the entire system. So let's bring this to life with an example. So in this case, we're going to introduce a third record. And this is going to be record three. We're going to have Mike J Green, which matches to the first record. The date of birth is going to be 2209, 1980. And in this case, we have 48, and this time it's 2nd Avenue, abbreviated. So by the introduction of this third record, what we can see is that we've got some similarities starting to emerge. And what we can see now is we've got a match, Mike J. Green, between record one and record three. In addition to that, we've now got a date of birth match between record one and three, which you can see here. And then as we look across to record two, we can see a similar name, Michael Green, connecting to record three. And in this case, the same address, obviously with some minor manipulation, connecting record three and two together. So entity resolution is taking a different approach to record to record matching. It's performing iterative matching. It connects record one to three with a reasonable degree of confidence based on the name, middle initial, date of birth, uh, and surname. And it connects record three to two by the name and the address. And that's the fundamental difference between entity resolution and record to record matching. However, Quantex's entity resolution takes this a step further. Rather than making a fixed decision about these three records, it's constantly evolving based on the data in the system. So let's take an example. Imagine record two is updated and a brand new piece of information arrives, which is that this individual was born on the 1st of March, 1940. Now in this case, we can now see clearly contradicting information between record three and record two, a date of birth that in fact, it's about 40 years apart. And why would this happen in the real world? Well, of course, you can have father, son, senior, junior living at the same address. As soon as we see this extra piece of information, we can now be pretty sure that these are, in fact, two different entities. And we can break this link and essentially break it into two different entities. One on the left, connecting these two, and this individual separated on the right, who is, in fact, what looks to be the father of the Mike J. Green. In this example, the entity we resolved was a person. But of course, entity resolution goes far beyond just people. In this example, we have a business, we have an email address or a contact, and we also have an address. These are all other entity types that it's really important to be able to resolve within your entire set of data. And of course, entities need to be configurable and extensible for your business use case. If you're an insurer, you'll need to model vehicles. If you are a bank, you'll need to mo model bank accounts, as an example. So it needs to be extensible. Quantex's innovative approach to entity resolution, leveraging all of the data within the system, allows us to achieve 99% accuracy on unseen data. It also scales to 60 billion plus record volumes and scales linearly with hardware and data.